Okay, today I will be teaching you guys how to use the get method on your phone. So, firstly, I will be creating a form inside my template file. So, new file form dot html and I will extend 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 dot html okay html then block okay data page Okay, now I will create a view function so user a request parameter K okay. return render request parameter and the name of the file which you want to render in this case is form.html okay i will be creating a url so use dot user and the url will also be user now run so new terminal inside my folder first now run python manage.py run server user url user say i have the header and footer so i want a form so i'll just quickly paste a form inside this form dot html so paste say this is my form I have a form tag which is quite important, a label, a input and a button with the type submit so I will quickly give them name so name equals well one and the same goes for the second input field well two okay now refresh so this is my phone so so what will I do basically I'll get data for these input fields using these names so in my views I will be using the try and accept method so try I will be creating a variable so value 1 equals int request dot get dot get and the name of the input field which is val1 and val2 so quickly just type val1 and the same goes for the second one 
and I want to print that so value 1 plus value 2 and accept I will pass because I don't want any error so refresh I have done a mistake so let's quickly fix it okay let's restart my server so python manage part py run server okay refresh now add values value 1 is 2 and value 2 will be 10 submit the answer will be printed in my terminal c12 is printed out in my terminal this works perfectly fine so now i want data to be printed inside my template and for that i will be creating another input field so form.html and output or I will name it wizard and a input field so copy paste I will give it a value so value will be result so in my views I'll be creating a variable so in this function I'll be creating a variable which will be named as output equals zero so and instead of this print I will remove print and write the name of variable which is output equals and remove this bracket k now I have to pass a dictionary inside my render so comma curly braces and the name of the value in my form which is result so quotes result colon and the name of the variable which is output output okay now refresh once again so see what will happen basically whatever the output of these two input fields will be it will be printed over here in this result input field so time and time which is 20 okay say 20 is printed out here thank you for watching please subscribe